Hey everyone, do you like action figures? Do you like collectibles? Well, there's a place for you to go. You can crash right down on the Planet Toys, a world built by collectors. Do you like Transformers? We got those. You like Minerva? We got that. You like Optimus Prime, Transformers, Bumblebee, and some kind of that cheesy? We got it. Yeah, we got it. Check it out, planettoys.com. Now on with today's video, 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 video. Welcome everybody back to Throwback Thunder Thor's Day. Today we're going to be taking a look at the year 1987 with Transformers Generation 1 Decepticon Sinner Twin. Two times the bite, two times the trouble. Welcome back to Throwback Thunder Thor's Day, and today we are going to be taking a look at 1987 Sinner Twin. He was one of the Decepticon Terracons, and I've had this figure for quite a long time. It was given to me by a family member years ago, and I've taken care of it. I've even tried cleaning up uh, some of the rust on those uh, little rivets. Um, can see I made a good attempt at it. Um, some of the rest is still there. I will eventually get to taking care of that at some point later on down the road. So in its beast mode, you know, of course it's Cinder Twin. He's got two heads. He's a two-headed dragon. And uh, some molded in detail. His eyes, teeth, some horns, and uh, just the way it looks like his neck can swivel, but it cannot swivel. It does have a rub sign, and I believe it still works pretty good. Kinda. Sometimes it wants to work, but sometimes it don't. And you can kind of see it vaguely. He's got the Decepticon sticker on his shoulder, and he's got some stickers on the back. And stickers underneath, and he's got visible head syndrome. Uh, legs can move. Uh, those ones can move a little bit more freely. They're not hindered by his head turning. And his tail, if you want, you could, you could pose that. Have him sit down. You know, the works. Uh, yeah, um, G1 figures, they... Had a good amount of detailing molded into them, so props to them for that. And yeah, there's my head. All right, so his robot mode transformation very simple. I'm gonna flip his tail up like that, bring his legs up like that, bring that in, fold that back, fold those arms in back, and fold. His just little stubby robot arms out. And oh, uh, there you go. There's. <laughs> he's got silver face. Well, more or less like a silver visor. Very small head. And I, as you can see, I tried cleaning it up a little bit. It's very, very uh, sketchy folding his head. That's uh, for a uh, combination in to, uh, I believe, Abonimus, Abdomus, Abdomen, the Abdomen next on Fox. And yeah, um, you can also, if you really want to, no, I'm pulled out right now, but uh, you can uh, you can make this uh, a limb for Metroplex. Fun fact, you can put the G1 combiners onto Metroplex. He's got four ports. Fun fact. So yeah, um, articulation in robot mode is a lot less than what you get in his beast mode, and you get his arms. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, he's fairly, fairly small. Let's look at some size comparisons. Here he is with Transmetals Rhinox. And here he is with 
Revenge of the Fallen Thrust. Now it's kind of a odd choice for size comparison. He doesn't want to stand. Please stand for this. Alright, yeah, so Twiddle Dee Twiddle Da, there is Sinner Twin. If you like this figure, please go ahead, follow me on Instagram at the Mighty Beastman, and you can follow me on Twitter at Beastman Review. If you like this video, feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment. I like hearing feedback. And most importantly, on August 5th, the launching of Planet Toys will go live. I hope to see all of you there. I hope you all will enjoy the products that we offer. And no, it's all about the fans. That's what the company's all about. It's about the fans because it's built by fans. It's built by collectors, most importantly. So thank you so much for watching. Keep on rocking in the free world. And remember to play Double Dragon on NES. <laughs>